quelle journée magnifique! Oh, il fait tellement beau! Est-ce que tu vas aller dehors aujourd'hui? Probablement. Hmm? Fais attention! Tu le sais! Hé hey, les amis, tu sais quoi? Hier soir, j'ai été au lit. Mais Madame Julie n'avait pas envie de dormir. J'arrêtais pas de bouger. Je voulais pas, je voulais pas me coucher, je voulais pas. J'étais pas fatiguée. Est-ce que ça t'arrive, toi? Oh. Et ça m'a donné une idée. Hop, au lit. <rire> De Nicolas Holland. Je me sentais comme cette grenouille. J'avais juste le goût de faire des pirouettes. Peut-être que ça t'arrive aussi. On va voir ça ensemble. OK? Ah, hop! Au lit! Bob aime sauter. Bob, c'est le nom de la grenouille. Bob aime sauter. Il aime aussi voler, culbuter, gigoter, bondir, sautiller, gambader, s'élancer, virevolter et tomber. Oh! C'est comme moi ça hier! Je faisais tout ça. Je me sentais comme la grenouille. Je me sentais comme Bob. Bob, il est temps de rentrer. Sa maman lui fait signe. Bob est en train de s'exercer à faire des sauts périlleux arrière quand il aperçoit sa mère et sa sœur. Hein? Il saute partout. Sa maman et sa sœur lui disent « Hey, Bob, c'est le temps de rentrer! » Il atterrit, nage, court, puis se balance jusqu'à la maison. Tu vois? Jusqu'à la maison. Il a beaucoup d'énergie, Bob. Il s'élance dans l'escalier, se brosse les dents, se lave le visage et enfile son pyjama. Il a oublié de se laver les mains, Bob. Regarde, tu vois la photo de famille? Il brosse ses dents. Il met ses pantalons pyjama avec des étoiles. T'as bien remarqué, hein? Sa maman éteint la lumière. Hop! Au lit! Mmh. Ça, c'est la maman de Bob. Et Bob, hop! Au lit! Hmm. Crois-tu qu'il va se coucher? Crois-tu qu'il va aller dormir? Mais Bob n'est pas fatigué. Tout ce qu'il veut faire, c'est sauter. Boing, 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 boing. Assez sauté. Ouais, ouais, la petite sœur à Bob. Son père le supplie d'arrêter. Tu vois, j'étais comme ça hier. J'arrêtais pas de faire boing, 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 de sauter. <rire> j'étais pas fatiguée. Oh, c'est comme ça que ça arrive, hein, parfois. Mais Bob continue de sauter et il saute jusqu'à ce que le soleil soit levé. Mais pas moi. Moi, j'ai finalement tombé endormi. Puis, il s'endort. Regardez, il a sauté toute la nuit. Boing, 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 boing. Tu vois, la lune, même un vaisseau spatial. Ouh, étrange. Mais regarde Bob au petit matin. Euh, Bob, Bob. Hmm. Bob n'a pas l'air de vouloir se réveiller. « Réveille-toi! » Son père essaie de le réveiller, mais Bob ne peut pas ouvrir les yeux. Alors, sa mère le traîne dans le couloir. Elle lui fait couler un bain froid, mais Bob ne se réveille toujours pas. « Regarde! Il est mou comme une guenille! »« Oh! »« Regarde! » Elle le traîne. Elle le met dans le bain froid. Hmm. « Bob ne se réveille pas. » Sa mère le porte jusqu'en bas. Son père le fait déjeuner, puis le conduit à l'école. Bob ne se réveille toujours pas. Oh là là, qu'est-ce qu'ils vont faire avec Bob? Regarde, il dort dans les bras de sa maman. Sa petite sœur, elle est mignonne. Hein? Il dort dans ses céréales et il dort dans la voiture pour se rendre à l'école. Petit problème avec Bob. À l'école, Bob dort pendant le cours de français. 
Oh là là! Mm -mm, C'est pas une bonne idée! Il ronfle durant le cours de musique. Mais au moins, s'il ronfle, ça fait de la musique. Il dort même pendant la sortie au zoo. Oh là là! Il dort toujours quand son père vient le chercher à la fin de la journée. Mais qu'est-ce qu'ils vont faire? Hein? À l'école, dans le cours de musique, au zoo. <rire> quand papa vient chercher. <rire> à la maison, ses parents lui parlent de l'importance d'une bonne nuit de sommeil. Est-ce que c'est important de bien dormir la nuit? Oh, oh oui! Si tu dors pas, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Tu peux être grincheux, tu peux pleurer pour rien, tu peux être fâché, tu peux bouder. Rien ne va durant la journée si tu n'as pas toutes tes heures de sommeil. Hein? Hmm. Je crois qu'il n'a plus faim. Après le souper, ils lui disent « Hop, au lit! » Regarde, l'importance d'une bonne nuit de sommeil. Est-ce que tu crois qu'il écoute? Ouh, il dort. Il dort même devant son brocoli. Tu sais que j'aime le brocoli, hein? Mm -hmm. mm, C'est magique! Dès qu'il entend le mot « Hop! » au lit, Bob se réveille d'un coup. Oh non, c'est pas vrai. Il court dans l'escalier, enfile son pyjama et bondit dans les airs. Hmm. Dès qu'il entend « Hop! » C'est étrange. Il court, enfile son pyjama et bondit dans les airs. Et après un triple saut périlleux, triple, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire triple? Triple, ça veut dire comme trois. Triple, trois. Trois pirouettes, saut et une double vrille. Double, deux. Double, deux. Bob saute vite dans son lit. Même s'il a dormi toute la journée, Bob, je pense qu'il aime bien son lit. Où il s'endort aussitôt. J'étais comme ça, après mes pirouettes, moi aussi. Oui. Mais t'as vu? Ah, il y a quelqu'un sur la lune. C'est peut-être une grenouille extraterrestre. Oh, on ne sait jamais. <rire> Pense à Bob quand tu iras te coucher ce soir. Parfois, hein? on n'a pas envie de dormir, mais... Une bonne nuit de sommeil, ça fait du bien. Ah oh oui, moi j'adore mon lit. On est bien dans les couvertures. Mm -hmm. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire aujourd'hui, les amis? Jouer un peu dehors? En demandant à maman ou papa? Faire un peu de, de travail pour l'école? Mm -hmm. C'est normal. Aider maman ou papa dans la maison aussi. N'oublie hein? pas de bien laver tes mains. C'est important. Madame Julie, elle, elle, va aller dehors, mais elle va aussi travailler ici dans la maison. Hein? C'est comme ça. Les amis, je te vois demain. Tu passes une bonne journée, OK? Je t'embrasse. À demain. Library. And today I thought I'd read you the story, The Dinky Donkey. This is by Craig Smith and illustration are by Katz Cowley. It's with permission of Scholastic uh, Canada that I am reading this story today. So The Dinky Donkey is the sequel to the book called The Wonky Donkey. And this is how it goes. The Dinky Donkey. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Yeehaw! She was so cute and small. She was a Dinky Donkey. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Yeehaw! 
She was so cute and small and she had beautiful long eyelashes. She was a blinky dinky donkey. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Yeehaw! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes and she loved to listen to rowdy music. She was a punk, punky, blinky, dinky, donkey. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Yeehaw! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music and she painted her hooves bright pink. Look, she's using her mommy's tail. Oh my goodness. She was an inky pinky punky blinky dinky donkey. You guys remember what the first part goes? <gasps> Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Yeehaw! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink and she had to go pee pee. Oh my goodness. She was a winky, tinky, inky, pinky, punky, blinky, dinky, donkey. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw. She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink and she had to go pee pee. And she loved to play the piano. She was a plinky, plunky, winky, tinky, inky, pinky, punky, plinky, dinky, donkey. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw. She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink. She had to go pee pee. And she loved to play the piano. And she wore wild sunglasses. Wow, those are wild sunglasses, all right. She was a funky, plinky, plunky, quinky, tinky, inky, Pinky, punky, blinky, dinky, <sighs> donkey. That was a lot to say. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Yeehaw. She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink. She had to go pee pee. She loved to play the piano. She wore wild sunglasses and she smelt just as bad as her dad. She was a stinky, funky, plinky, plunky, winky, tinky, oh my goodness, inky, pinky, punky, blinky, dinky, donkey. <sighs> Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. And that's the story. This is a fun book because you can try to see if you can tell the story again with all the different sounds that were made. From the dinky donkey to the blinky dinky donkey to the punky blinky dinky donkey to the inky pinky punky blinky donkey to the winky tinky inky pinky punky blinky dinky donkey <sighs> to the plinky plunky winky tinky inky pinky punky clunk. Plinky, dunk, dinky, donkey. And then uh, finally to the stinky, funky, plinky, plunky, pinky, tinky, sorry, winky, tinky, inky, pinky, punky, blinky, dinky, donkey. That's hard to do. You guys should try that at home and see if you can say all the words together like that.
everybody. My name is Shelley Tamtom, and I run the Kensington Heritage Library. Today I'm going to read you a short story, and then we're going to sing a song, and I hope you have a lot of fun. The story I'm going to read to you today is read with permission from Access Copyright on behalf of the publisher. And the story is called, Sometimes I Feel Like a Fox, and it's written by Danielle Daniel. I hope you love the illustrations in this book as much as I do. And if you look in the front of the book before even the words start, there's beautiful pictures. Look at that. That's a picture that can use your imagination. What do you see in that picture? Hmm. I think I can see a lamb and a penguin. Let's turn it upside down and see what we see. Let's see what it looks like upside down. Hmm. Wow. I think I see a bunny in there. Can you see a bunny? Hmm. It's always interesting to look at art. Sometimes I Feel Like a Fox by Danielle Daniel. Sometimes I feel like a bear, strong and confident. I stand tall and growl and protect those around me. You stand tall and growl like a bear. Grrr. Sometimes I feel like a deer, sensitive and kind. I listen to the sounds in the distance and prance through the forest. Sometimes I feel like a beaver, busy and purposeful. I only use what I need and always get the job done. Sometimes I feel like a butterfly, delicate and free. I spread my wings wide open and flutter from flower to leaf. Can you do that? Can you spread your wings wide and flutter? from flower to leaf like a butterfly. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a moose, awkward yet graceful. I move swiftly and silently with a gentle strength and wisdom. Sometimes I feel like an owl, intuitive and discreet. I fly across the dark night sky always watching, and always listening. Sometimes I feel like a rabbit, quick and alert. I like to eat my carrots um, 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 and leap into new adventures. Sometimes I feel like a turtle, slow, and quiet. I retreat into my shell and find peace and solitude. Sometimes I feel like a wolf, intelligent and loyal. I surround myself with family and howl into the moonlight. Can you howl with me into the moonlight? Ow! Ow! <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a porcupine, innocent and curious. I have a big imagination and I know how to protect myself. Sometimes I feel like a raven, dark and mysterious. I am both messenger and secret keeper and I help bring light from darkness. Sometimes I feel like a fox, sly and sharp. I observe all those around me and disappear quickly. I disappeared like a fox. And there's a picture of all of the beautiful illustrations in this story. And all of the different 
feelings that you can have. And there's a whole bunch more feelings too. But if you think about think about yourself and you think about how how you are every day, sometimes we're happy, sometimes we have quiet moments when we just want to be by ourselves. Something that I like to do when I feel like I'm want to be by myself is I like to go to the beach or even just lay down in the grass and look up at the sky and watch the clouds. Have you ever watched the clouds go by and and seen you might see a shape in the clouds so you might see a a bunny or a snowman or a dragon or something something really cool. You just let your imagination think about all the different things that that you might see in the shapes of the clouds. Well, I have a little song that goes along with that, and it is sung to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm pretty sure you know that one, but we'll, I'll hum a little bit of it so you know first off. It goes, okay, so we we'll maybe sing this a couple of times so that you can, so you'll get the hang of it, but that's what it is. It sounds like Twinkle Twinkle, but the words are a little bit different, okay? And it's all about watching clouds. It goes like this. When I look into the sky, I can see the clouds go by. They don't ever make a sound, letting wind push them around. Some go fast. Some go slow. I wonder where those clouds all go. What'd you think? Did I startle you when I went fast? That's the fun part of this song, when you get to do the fast clouds. All right, let's try it one more time. You ready? When I look into the sky, I can see the clouds go by. They don't ever make a sound, letting wind push them around. Some go fast, some go slow. I wonder where those clouds all go. Thanks very much for listening, and I hope you had fun, and happy reading, and we'll see you again another time. Bonjour, hello, and welcome back to Language for Vous. Je m'appelle Peter. My name is Peter, and welcome back to the show. On today's show, we are going to be talking about nature. Now, what is nature? Well, nature is usually what we find outside. It might be the birds we hear, or the grass we walk on, or the flowers and the trees we see or maybe even the insects we see too. So nature is always outside. And today's episode, we're gonna be going to a beach, we're gonna go take a walk in the woods, and we're just gonna be spending a lot of time outside. And hopefully you are spending time outside too. I know the weather is getting nicer, the days are warmer, the sun is out, so I hope you're getting out to the beaches and the parks, and maybe you're going on walking trails or going out around your neighborhood, and that's great because nature is important and I hope you're enjoying it. So today we're going to be talking a lot about nature, which is great because the fresh air can do us all some good. So let's see what we have in store for today. Hi boys and girls, I'm at the beach. You can see here's the water and the rocks. And I found a little piece of sea glass and I'm going to take a walk and look for some rocks to paint.
Hi again, boys and girls. I just got home and now I'm going to wash my rocks to make sure all the sand is off of them. Hi, boys and girls. I'm back. I'm in my art room and I've started painting. You can see I have my rocks here and I have put a coat of paint on two of them. I have some paints. I have black, white, purple, blue, green, yellow, and red. You could even use markers if you don't have paints. I have a cup of water with my paintbrush in there. I have some paper towels, my brushes. These ones I got at the dollar store. And these are some of my own I use when I paint. And I have a little styrofoam plate. I had some fish to eat for supper and I washed this plate and I'm reusing it. And I put my paints on here. So what you're going to want to do is get a coat of paint on all your rocks. I'll take a picture after I'm finished. So you can see I like to coat the whole rock. You don't have to do that. You can just coat the top parts. So this one is ready for me to decorate. So what I like to do with my rocks is write words on them. So something that will make people happy, like be happy, smile, or you rock, or you're awesome. Then I like to go and take my rocks and hide them somewhere in a tree or on a log where people can find them. So I will take a picture when they are done and then tomorrow I'm going to go for a walk and hide them for people to find. Hi boys and girls, I just finished my lunch and I'm going to take a little walk outside but I wanted to share this little video with you now because it's very windy outside so I don't think you'll be able to hear me today um, but I'm going to take my little rocks and hide them and I'll take pictures where I hide them and hopefully someone will find them and they'll bring a smile to their face and I hope you enjoyed this activity. Stay safe. Bye. These are roots. They help the tree get water. This is the trunk. It holds the tree up. If you go up, you can see the branches. And at the top, on the branches, you can see there are needles. There are some needles here. Also, these trees have cones. Squirrels like to eat the seeds in these cones. Have you ever seen a tree with bubbles? If you look here, it's like a squishy bubble and if I press it, oh, sap comes out. Hi, this is a kind of lichen. When I was little, I used to pick this lichen and put it on my doll's hair and pretend they were witches. Doesn't it look like witches hair? <laughs> All right, this is a paper birch tree and a long time ago people used to take the paper off and they would use it to make baskets and put on the outside of canoes and other things and uh, the women used to bite patterns into it which was very cool. So if you go outside you can collect some of the paper and you can even write on it. This is moss. It's very soft and green. You can see it in PEI forests.
If you need to sneeze or cough, do so into your elbow. And remember, you should wash your hands often with soap and clean water. Hello everyone, this is Miss Suzanne, EAL teacher at St. Jean and Ella Montgomery. Here is a slideshow on the early signs of spring. The sun is stronger. The snow has melted. Flowers start to grow from the bare ground. These flowers are called daffodils. What a beautiful yellow color. Tulips grow from a bulb. They bloom into flowers. Oh, such beautiful colors. One crocus flower soon becomes a patch. This is a rake. I'm raking away old leaves and plants. More old plants to rake. They go in the wheelbarrow. Then I put them in the compost. The sun is too bright. I put on my sunglasses. Protect your eyes. Apple trees blossom in spring and grow apples later. Canadian geese flying back to PEI in spring. They come back from the warmer climates and the warmer places such as Florida. Tea at the end of a busy day. The sun is going down. Tomorrow is another day. What I don't finish today, I will do tomorrow. Stay safe and well, everyone. Take care. Hi, boys and girls. Miss Kelly here. I'm going to show you how to put your leaves into a leaf bag. First, open the bag. And it's really big, so you can get inside the bag. Like this. Just open it up. Like this. So that it's nice and open and then you're gonna take your leaves and put them in the bag nice earth day was april 22nd miss valentina asked her students for some help hello my dear students my talented students today is april 22nd 2020 and it is Earth Day. It's a day where we think about our planet Earth and we think how can we save it, how can we protect it. Please create your own uh, posters with your ideas what can we do today, every day. Our planet is our future. It is your future.
When you do need to go out to get supplies, only one person from your household should go. Hi boys and girls, my name is Jessica Arnold and I'm a youth service worker. And I don't know about you, but being in the house all day kind of gets me a little bit crazy. So I always make sure to come outside to get some fresh air. So today I'm going to take you on two of my favorite places to go for a walk. The first one is in the back of my yard. It's a beautiful trails in the woods. And the best part is I have the best walking buddy. His name is Murdoch. <laughs> but this is not Murdoch's favorite place to go for a walk. Watch this. Murdoch, do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to the beach? Ah! <laughs> All right, boys and girls, I'm now in the car and we're about to drive to the beach. And someone looks pretty tired or excited. Let's ask him. Murdoch? Do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to the beach? <laughs> Looks like he wants to go to the beach. So we're finally at the beach. It is a beautiful day. But before we left my car, I made sure that we were practicing social distancing. There's absolutely nobody else here on the beach. And that's what you should be doing too. So one of my favorite things to do at the beach though is to look around and name things that I see. So let's see if you guys can do that too. Did you guys name anything? All right guys, so I'm gonna go and have some fun with Murdoch. We're gonna throw some rocks in the water and I hope you guys are staying safe. Bye. Today on Pets of PEI, we have two cats because the only thing better than one cat is two cats. These kitties come to us from Clara from Sherwood Elementary School. She is six years old and is in Ms. Stratton's kindergarten class. First, we have Marvin. She is 16 years old and her favorite food is cat treats. Her favorite thing is napping and getting kisses on the head. Oh, Marvin looks soft. The second cat is Clint. He likes cat treats and is a very big cat. He is my guard cat, Clara says. Thanks, Clara, for sending in your pets. We want to see your pets, so please send pictures of your pets to us here at language at gmail.com. Remember to include your pet's name, how old they are, their favorite snack, what they like to do, and why you like your pet. We look forward to seeing all the great pets of Prince Edward Island. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Drawing the Sounds. Today we're drawing Skyfly. This is Skyfly. To draw Skyfly, you will need a pencil and a pencil sharpener and an eraser and a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline with and maybe some color markers or some color pencils. But I will draw in black marker so you can see what I'm doing. Skyfly is an insect called a fly. A fly has big eyes. Let's make a big circle for Skyfly's eye. And one more big circle for Skyfly's other eye. Skyfly has a round head. And at the bottom of his head, another curved line. Skyfly has a long mouth.
at the end of his mouth is a small circle. Skyfly has a body. His body is a big circle. Remember, if I am drawing too quickly, you can pause the lesson and catch up. A fly has six legs, but I will only draw three legs. One leg, two legs, and three legs. A fly has two wings. One wing and two wings. Skyfly has some lines on his body. They are curving lines. One, two, three, and four. And Skyfly has some lines in his eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and lines going the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is Skyfly in color. I colored his eyes red, his face purple, his body blue, and his legs purple. And I made some clouds because Skyfly is in the sky. Now, in our last lesson, we talked about the letter Y. And at the beginning of a word, like Yasmin and Yak, Y makes a Y sound. But did you know that at the end of a short word, Y makes an I sound? Here is an uppercase Y, and here is a lowercase Y. And in a word like sky, and fly, and cry, and my, and fry, Y makes an I sound. Thanks for coming today. See you again. We had several pictures sent to us, and I wanted to show some of them. Here is Charlotte's aunt, and Olivia's aunt with some lovely colors, and an elephant sent to us by Jasmine. Thank you everyone who has been sending us in their art. And please keep sending us your art at languageforvu at gmail.com. Thank you, Mr. Sheehan. I am always enjoying your drawings. And I think I'm starting to get better at it. Here is my sky fly flying high in the sky. And a big thank you also to Olivia, Charlotte, and Jasmine for sending in your drawings. And we love getting your drawings. They're so good. So please keep sending them to us at languageforvu at gmail.com. That is our show for today. So I hope you do get a chance to get outside and into nature. Maybe you'll hear some birds, maybe you'll get to see some beautiful flowers, or maybe you'll just get to see some insects scurrying about. But be, be nice to them. Okay. Uh, when you are outside though, remember if it's sunny, you might want to wear a hat on your head, 
and make sure you might wear bug spray or sunscreen, just so your skin doesn't get hurt. Um, that is our show. So remember, stay safe, be kind, and do your best. And we'll see you next time on Language for Vu. Bye, or revoir.